Good morning, everyone, and thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, I'm not sure um, exactly what's happening today as far as um, making some ephemera, but um, I got this brown envelope in my utility mail uh, for my um, city, um, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I guess they've changed to recycle type envelopes, and... Um, I'm like, that is an amazing color. So um, I thought I'd make a belly band for the uh, Golden Botanical, and uh, like I did before. So um, I measured here to see where the, I have this paper here, because um, I had a glare. I don't see, I can see the glare, but I don't know where it is. I guess it's right there. And I moved all the lights around and it still shows. So I don't know which is worse, the white or, um, let me see here. Well, I'll just leave that for now. I'll get it together. I'm trying to find, get a clean uh, area to work in. Um, and I, I went and looked for some more of the wood design, but they weren't very good and they were $25, $29 for the roll. And I thought, you know, if I'm gonna pay $29, I want something I really do like. So I need to go to a better hardware uh, type store. Oh, there's those little pieces I was looking for. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut down this because I know it's too tall for uh, the journal. And, might even save that for a little pocket or something. I don't know. All right, and then um, <clears throat> I thought I would uh, ink around here, and I well, wait a minute, like I gotta cut the other side off. I wasn't thinking about that part. So if you've done not seen me do this, or you haven't seen anyone, um, basically you're gonna cut this side off to match up on this side. Let me kind of um, put a mark. I could measure, let me measure that way. So it's a half inch. So from this side, we're gonna go a half inch, okay? And then that should make those even on both sides. I mean, if you've got something to measure with, you might as well. If you don't have anything, then just do it. All right. And then we're going to cut this part off too because we only need the top. So I'm just going to sliver this piece off here. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to pound it down. Okay, so now we have this part here, which is the only part uh, that we're gonna use. This part we're not using. However, we can use it for something else. Um, let me get the scissors here. I could have cut this on the... Just hope I can keep it straight. save that because we may use it somehow. Okay, so now this is what we have and this is going to be our belly band and then something is going to show through that when we lay it on the page. So if we lay it on a decorative page, uh, then we'll see uh, through that. But we have to cover this. So well, let's see, I want to ink around it first. So I hope everybody's doing well. I uh, doing good. I was very, very tired last night. This is not it's kind of flimsy. I hope this is going to be sturdy enough to be a belly band. Well, maybe when I get the other piece on top to cover it. Um, I don't know. I just my eyes were just closing when I was trying to watch TV. 
Maybe I was just bored with um, the TV. All right, so that's good. I'll just use that as a stamp area. And so I've got a stamp out here and I think it goes this way. And I don't want to stamp on the windows. So I'm hoping that I can just do something like that. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's kind of gone upside down. I'll just go more of an angle, then it won't know. It's upside down. Let's see. Yeah. It's, um, that's upside down. I don't know how much of this is going to show, but I just wanted to have a little something. I don't know, maybe I do need to get, I could probably wipe the stamp uh, windows off if I do it quick enough. on the window. Okay. So today I'm doing, I'm going to Quilt B and I want to get a video out or get it made at least before I go. Otherwise when I get back I just don't feel like doing it. It's probably 100 degrees out there. I don't know. All right so Patty said to use her, her paper. Um, so I'm going to. This is so cool. I, I wish you guys could feel it as I am. It's almost like, I I think um, the way Rachel explains it is it's kind of made with um, fabric woven in, um, but the, the typeset and everything is not perfect. And like here it's blurrier. It's just so, I don't know, it's just unique. Okay, so, um, I want a little edge of the brown to show. So let me tear this. Keep this little piece, definitely. It's actually um, pretty strong still. This paper, let's see, what did she say? It um, is from 1740. 1740. Okay. I remember when I went to um, Europe and um, I think, well, all of them. I think Germany mostly. I'm just gonna cut off some of that word. I thought that was gonna fit. Um, and we'd go to these buildings, you know, or we went to a restaurant. I think that was in Amsterdam because um, I just loved Amsterdam. I remember going to this restaurant and there was uh, ceramic tiles on the walls and they were dated back to 16 something. And I'm like, I cannot believe that these tiles are still here on this wall. Um, might have some help if I had it go in the right direction. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let it go. I, I was gonna try to show some of the edge. I might be able to get just a little bit off of each side here. And that way they would all be. Um, but, oh yeah, they were, especially um, 
they were Delph blue, and um, that was my, I collected Delph pottery. And I wanted to take it off the wall, <laughs> take it home. But I don't think they would have let me. Yeah, so trying to keep my desk organized. <laughs> don't mean to yell, but <laughs> it's just like, why is it I get um, just, and then my, now my ink wants to be dark. I did add a little bit of water to it yesterday because it was not inking really well. Okay, so you guys are wondering what am I going to do? Alright, so I think I want my the top part to be the windows. So I am going to I'm just gonna clip this on here. sure I can even do this. Hmm. Wish I had a way that I could feel. I wanted to cut it out at that around that part. And it's not really shining through. Um Hold on a second. <sighs> mm -hmm. Can't really see through that paper. I thought I could use uh, my phone or something to... All right, so we're gonna have to figure out a better way then. Like market, I guess. All right, so here is the bottom. We know I have a half inch from here to here. And that is the bottom. Have a half inch from here to here. Okay. And then up this far, this far in the way. Up here is, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was going to be so high. Is there. Okay, so now the only other place we need to mark is here. So I hope this works. it there just gonna make sure that that's on the right mark I guess this was the easiest way to do it I hope my head's not in the way okay now we can probably take it off of there. So here is what I'm planning because I tested it on another little bottom page. If this doesn't work, I 
can just cut it out now that I've got the lines. tear now. It tore the other. Okay, so we have to cut it. Should have been more careful. I could have kept this little extra. Actually, I, I think I can still use it in my collage. I just didn't want the edges to be totally straight. I wanted them to be more torn type edge. go a little bit lower because I don't know how perfect it is or isn't. definitely want that debates to uh, sit up there and I was reading some of it and the words are are different I mean it's in English but it's different how they spell words like public is p-u-b-l-i-c-k but I mean it's almost like um, it it's spelled the way you, the sound, you know, how we used to learn to spell or read. Okay, so. I'm just going to leave that um, a little shorter than the window because I don't want to ruin this part of the I think this word is foul F-H-O-U-L Okay, let me ink it. sure what I'm going to do with it. 
down at the bottom of this, but. Okay, so. Glue stick this part, I guess. guys ready to start doing fall <laughs> I kind of just didn't do a whole springy thing on this year or summer thing okay I want that down there to make sure that's So I don't have a lot of colors like that. I mean, I buy a kit, but then I don't have things to go with it. I'm not crazy about the way that looks. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I was just envisioning, envisioned, um, I don't know, something different. Maybe once it's decorated and it has a page behind it. And a journal card. We could put it, we'll slide something under there. Okay. So I thought about a pocket at the bottom, but if I do a pocket, then it hides a lot of the wording too. So, you know, it's kind of like. what to do. Um, let's see if I have, um, well, let's see, this is prop, might be a page in the journal. Let's try it. I'll have to go print some more. So if this is on there, for instance, Now, I haven't cut any pages down, so I'm hoping that these pages are going to fit. Um, I may have to cut down, but I always leave a little bit on the belly bands like that because if you do have to cut down, it'll still probably fit. Um, okay, so let me see. I, maybe I would put a... Is that making a glare? Um, so I was thinking of a flower. These are, um, they're pretty bright, but I can always ink them up and make them a little not so bright. These are from my white cat journal, my yellow garden. And um, these are not stickers. Um, hmm. I'm just wondering if something like that could go up. Hmm. 
It really doesn't. It just leaves these sides plain. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but I was thinking if it even blocked the whole window like that. Hmm. I'll have to come back and think on that. Oh, I know I have, don't I have another page of stickies? Hmm. You know, I don't know if I printed them in a... This page, I just don't want to cut up. Um, all right. This is... Um, Hold on a second. I might have them uh, not pulled out in my other book. Just let me look real quick. Maybe I don't have any. Do something like that. This is is um, this is washi. Oh, good, came off. But I'm not sure how it would look on the window part. You know, if I was to come like that. But, you know, I could probably make it work. I don't know. I keep that out. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I just feel like I don't want to do a plain old flower with a plain old label with, you know, a uh, plain old word. It's just, um, I just feel like doing it differently. This is maybe blue. Wish I had that in black. doing mushrooms so we can't do that mm. well that looks pretty because it's the right golden color so, um, then it'll also depend on the journal card. Like, I think I was just looking at this and I'm thinking if I had a butterfly, big butterfly, I could put it like that with the wings. But it have to be that big. Not bigger, because then it would be 
Hmm. Okay, think about that one. All right, I do like this. So this could be a journal card going in there too, like that. So I'll just have to figure out what I want to put in behind it. Um, let me look at this. Green butterflies. Oh, no need for green ones. These were um, vellum that I cut these on, that I printed on, I mean. It's probably not legal to do, but I did. All right, so. I do like those two flowers right there. So let me see. I'm I want to leave this in here because I need to view it. I think I'm going to put this down here and see what I can find to put on that side. I know some of you looking for the washi um, paper that I use to print on. It's in my um, Amazon favorites um, at the bottom of the description. And I like it because it doesn't leave this white background, you know, where you can kind of see. I really do like, I don't know. I, I My fear is that the contrast in the colors won't work. So it's better not to put something on the window unless I want to put some curtains or something. <laughs> okay, so um, I know it's not a, that big of a deal for today, but... Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really, really happy. Um, I don't know. It just looks totally crooked up there. Huh. I might be able to fix that. a little better. What I need to do is make sure it's like uh, nice and even across the top. I don't want to cut the words off.
Oh, it's pretty even. This one here is just a hair shorter. That's why I wanted the pages to be, um, or the windows to have a jaggedy edge. Should have ripped them. Oh, that looks a little better. This is the weirdest thing. You erase, and as you erase, it brings the lead down. I don't know where I got this one. <laughs> okay. All right, how much time did I spend? Yeah, not too bad. So, um, I think it's it'll be strong enough, you know. I'm gonna put a little divot somewhere, and I'll put, I don't know, there probably, um, a label or something. put something down here since it's and that wording there is kind of cool because it's also typed in a kind of a messy typing I mean don't don't have to have a bunch of stuff right I like that received word I don't ever use that I don't know. It's kind of a weird word I was just wondering if I could put it I could put a tab or something out there. Um, I could put a kitty cat on it. Oh, he looks cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick just with this word and um If anything, maybe like a, just a circle right there or something like that, or an oval, too big. These are like little stickers that I kept. Yeah, a little picture frame would look cute over that. Let me look in my I have those little tiny frames like this. That kind of just gives it that extra little punch. Let me see if I have a different. I didn't put them back in there, did I? Of course not. decorative in a sense. Actually, I think I like this very little plain one. I think that is all it needs. Doing this, it doesn't really even help. tweezers I really like. One minute they're there and the next minute they're not. Well, let's see, let's cut off a little more of the bottom. See if that's level. 
received oh I think I might go to Hobby Lobby today I'm gonna to be in the neighborhood I've I'm all I've already spent I mean to most of you I don't know because you, if you drive to work or whatever I don't usually go anywhere um, but I have already spent a um, hundred dollars in gas this month and that is just going maybe I've gone oh I don't know I know I get like 20 miles to the gallon so I must have been more miles than I but I can't I can't justify just going to Hobby Lobby without it being a reason to go if there's any way I can make that look rugged like not so perfect. You guys are saying no, enough and this is enough. I was just thinking if I could get it. I wonder if I could. These scissors that I, I basically got them for the edges of stamps, but I've used them on journal cards and stuff just to give some texture. So, just trying to get under the, where it's glued. Hmm, that side's gonna be a little more difficult. See a little better today. I'm not I'm having a good day with my eyes. Um, of paper to cut it, so I'm liking it better already. This part is probably going to be the hardest. I might have to really try to work that up. right there okay get close enough to it
All right, I'm liking that better. And I think even if I can ink it, would even be helpful. doesn't look so um, perfect and I'm just going to have to keep playing with it until I get it the way I like it. All right, guys, um, I guess that's it. There seemed like there was something else I was going to share with you, but I'm not sure what it was. So, um, yeah, here we are with a bunch of stuff on my desk again. Okay. The um I was just going to share that I I've been working on the collage. I mean, I haven't worked. Well, I did a couple pieces. But see, I'm just using now my scraps and then it's almost almost ready to uh cut into journal cards. So, yeah, that I just been saving them and um, each day I try to do a little bit if I can have time or remember. Alrighty, so there we are and you guys will see this again once I, I figure out what, what I'm going to put behind these windows. I mean, what kind of journal card I'm going to use. So, alright, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.